Hello and welcome to Academic Technologies Instructional Videos. In this video, you will be given an overview of the different wireless microphones in general assignment classrooms. Wireless microphones are typically located inside the podium drawer. To unlock the drawer, tap your Husky card to log into the system. The drawer will then unlock for 10 seconds. If you wish to reopen the drawer, simply tap your Husky card again and it will open for another 10 seconds. Some podium rooms will require a technology key to unlock the drawer. If you do not have a key, you may check out a technology key from our office in Kane Hall. We are located in the basement floor, room 035. Further contact details will be provided at the end of this video. In rooms where there is not a podium drawer, the mic may be in a technology closet. If you cannot find a wireless mic in the room, please check the classroom features page to see if there is a wireless mic for the room. The first type is called a lavalier mic, or lav mic for short. We have a few variations of lav mics that can be found in our classrooms. One key difference you may find between lav mics is the power button. In all cases, the power button or switch will be located on the top of the mic pack. For some, you will need to press down on the power button for approximately 3 seconds to power it on or off. For others, there is an on-off switch. The mic will have a green indicator light when you have successfully powered it on. Once the mic is on, you will be able to check the battery levels. If the mic is two bars or below, open the mic pack and replace the batteries. There will be new batteries located in the drawer to replace the old ones. We have placed a dead battery holder in the drawer for you to dispose of the spent batteries. Once you have verified the mic is ready for use, Attach the mic clip to the top of your shirt, ensuring it is well centered and facing upwards towards your face. To help position the mic, you can rotate the mic clip to fit your needs. If you are unable to position the mic in the center of your shirt, place it on your shoulder in the direction you intend to present. Finally, ensure the mic is unmuted and at a suitable volume for presentation. The second type of wireless mic you may encounter in a general assignment classroom is a handheld mic. Some handheld mics have a switch to power on, in others you will need to press a button for 3 seconds to turn it on. The screen on the handheld mic will light up when it is powered on successfully. Similar to the lav mics, once the handheld mic is powered on, check the level on the batteries and replace if the level is below 2 bars. To change the batteries of the handheld, unscrew the bottom of the mic. There you will find the batteries. When replacing the bottom of the mic, be mindful not to over tighten the cap. If handheld mic volume controls are not seen on the right side of the touch panel, go into Room Controls. In Room Controls, there should be a button labeled Advanced Audio Controls, where you will find more volume options for the handheld wireless microphone. Once you are finished using the mic, please turn it off and return it to the drawer where you found it. For mics with a power button, hold down the power button for 3 seconds to power it off. The screen should go dark once it is powered off. If the wireless mic shows an orange indicator light after you've pressed down the power button, it is muted and you will need to hold the power button down longer to completely power it off. If you are using a lavalier mic, please gently wrap the cable around the mic pack with slack before returning it to the drawer. If you encountered any issues with the wireless microphones, try the following troubleshooting steps. Ensure that they are unmuted and have enough battery power. Some lav mics have a switch on the right side of the microphone. Ensure that it is set to mic. If the mic cable is found to be unplugged from the mic pack, please plug it back in. To do so, locate the notch inside of the mic cable port. Align the notch with the button on the mic cable. Then, push the cable straight into the port, without twisting. You may find threading on the mic cable port but this is not to lock the cable in place. Attempting to twist the cable can damage the microphone. If you are concerned about damaging the mic pack, please contact us. If you are still experiencing issues, please contact us at help at uw.edu. Call us at 206-221-5000 or come to our office in Kane Hall room 035 for further assistance.